7 Great Houseplants for Low Light Conditions A member of the Dracaena genus that includes several other popular houseplants, Lucky Bamboo is not a member of the bamboo family at all, though its shoots are similar to those of bamboo. Normally grown in water, Lucky Bamboo plants can be found in offices, on desks, in businesses, and in homes pretty much everywhere. An important element of feng shui practice, Lucky Bamboo plants are said to bring good luck and fortune, especially if the plants were given as gifts. It also helps that they have a well-earned reputation as being nearly indestructible. Lucky Bamboo prefers some light, but will gladly thrive in nearly full shade locations. The spider plant Chlorophytum camosum is considered one of the most adaptable of houseplants and is one of the easiest to grow. The spider plant is so named because of its spider-like plants, or spiderettes, which dangle down from the mother plant like spiders on the web. Available in green or variegated varieties, these spiderettes often start out as small white flowers. Golden pathos can thrive in conditions that almost no other plant can grow, including darkness and a near-complete lack of water. If you're looking for a sure thing in shady conditions, try a pot of golden pothos. It is one most popular of all houseplants, thanks to attractive, durable, and easy-to-grow vines with smooth, leathery, heart-shaped leaves. Some varieties have leaves with distinctive marbling alternating along rope-like green stems. Pothos vines are also among the top 10 air purifying plants for indoor use. Not all ferns will thrive in shady corners, but many are well suited to low light conditions. Ferns are some of the oldest plants in the world, they have been thriving for 300 million years and grow in an astonishing array of environments. As houseplants, they have been in cultivation for centuries. For indoor use, common species include American maidenhair fern Adiantum pedatum, bird's nest fern Asplenium hybrid, and queen fern Nephrolopus obliterata. The Sansevieria species are some of the best low-light plants. They are striking in appearance and strikingly easy to grow. The snake plant, also called mother-in-law's tongue, is one of the most recommended plants for improving air quality. The optimal place to keep this relatively inexpensive and low-maintenance plant is the bedroom because it converts carbon dioxide into oxygen at night. This is a very long-lived plant that can thrive for decades. Plants in the Dracaena genus include a huge variety used for home, office, apartments, malls and landscape decoration. The genus includes nearly 40 species and hundreds of cultivars in various sizes and forms, all of them good choices for low-light conditions. These are plants with cane-like stems, often grown like small indoor trees or shrubs. Popular varieties include Dragon Tree, Dracaena marginata, Canary Islands Dragon Tree, D, Draco, Song of India, D, Reflexa, and Tea Tree or Cornstalk Draciana, D, Fragrance. The bromeliad family of plants are not typically considered easy houseplants, but the Hmia genus includes species that positively thrive in low-light situations. Achmias are typically sold while they are already flowering, and they will hold their bloom and shapes for many months in poor light or artificial light conditions. The most common Achmias are urn plant A, fasciata, or Amazonian zebra plant A, chantini. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.